Greetings and hello again. Another review time from my channel. And before I get started, there's a couple of shout outs and a few other things I want to get out of the way first. Okay, um, just had two new subscribers to my channel who I want to give credit to uh, Mr. Rattrap25. Um, much appreciated. Uh, it's good to know that we've. Um, a fellow uh, Beast Wars fan. Um, also, uh, Alex Matthias Vega Prado. Um, I've uh, again had a quick look at your channel and uh, see you've uh, got a few uh, Minecraft related videos up there. So I was sort of dabble in uh, Minecraft myself. So I might be checking those out in due course. And uh, return subscriptions to you, but guys done and dusted so thanks for subscribing to my channel um, on another note um, I picked Tamada Optimus up at a car boot sale a while back but he was missing a few bits and I broke his arm off well I've, I've now repaired his arm and I've managed to get the missing parts most notably his grill and the matrix plate just don't ask me how much I paid for all of Anyway, <clears throat> less said about that, the better. What was the nature of this review? Well, it's this chap. Slug. Slug. You know, slag, slug. The purple triceratops. Um, okay, this is his deluxe toy um, from the new film, Transformers 4 Age of Extinction line. Um, he's uh, sort of purple and red with a bit of sort of grey and silver. Uh, he's got that Michael Bay aesthetic going on with all the spikes and the horns and the you know pointy bits all over, pointy plates and spiky bits. And <clears throat> yeah, he's all right in his dino mode. Um, bit of an issue with articulation. He's got a similar problem to his uh, constructor bot counterpart in that his, uh, his back legs don't work very well um, there's not a lot you can do with them uh, they've got sort of folding toes that are part of the transformation they sort of oh pardon me uh, they sort of move in and out a bit and you can sort of move them backwards and forwards but very restricted movement in the rear legs Front legs, not really that much better. They've got a, a, sh a shoulder joint there, which is on a ball joint. And then you've got the, 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 the lower forelimb that's on a pivot. It's very difficult to get this guy, all four of his paws down on a flat surface when you're posing him, because there's always gonna be one that's sticking up in the air and you have to faff around with the legs for ages to, to get him to stand properly, which is a bit awkward really. Anyway, he's quite chunky, quite bulky, and uh, he's got uh, you know, the rubbery, rubbery jaw that opens as well. Obviously, the head has got a little bit of articulation on it. It doesn't twist at all; just moves up and down. Again, rubbery horns, and the the end of his tail with all these spikes on. Again, made of this rubberized plastic. Now, I've been watching quite a few reviews of this guy from various people. And a lot of people have been whinging and moaning about weapons storage. He gets two swords which stick into his sides. And if you've got the Transformers 4 app on your mobile phone and you've looked at the videos on there, they've got that like from the designer's chair or whatever it is video where they, they go into the thought process behind designing the individual models and on Slug's one they says wow you know you stick the swords in his side and so that when he runs along he clothes lines Decepticons isn't that cool and I think well no not really I don't think it's cool having swords sticking out your sides so you know there's nowhere else to put them is there well yes there is my Slug currently has both his swords stowed away on his person. Can you see them?
there's one and there's the other one how do you do it well if you look he's got a void running down his middle you do have to spread the rear legs apart for this to work but as the rear legs don't really move that much they sort of move a bit side to side backwards and forwards it's quite easy to accomplish so you get one of his swords and then you slot it into the void like that and then the stock of the sword will fit into the underside into this this groove in the underside of his tail sometimes it takes a while to get it arranged in such a way that it'll fit so there's the first sword in position the second sword you put in from the front it's kind of difficult to show so you, you slide it in Hang on, let me. it's kind of difficult to get it in hang on sometimes this works sometimes it doesn't you have to really sort of mess around to get the thing positioned correctly and then when you've got it in you push the butt of the sword down in between these these gray bits here and a little bit of uh, reorganization of the rear legs even though I've screwed that up a bit as that's it and then you look at him I mean obviously his tail sticks up a little bit but you don't even you don't even notice he's got two swords stowed away inside of him so there you go you can store the weapons on slug it is possible there is a way to do it so that's pretty much the dyno mode covered now on to the robot mode so obviously pull the swords out i mean the swords are supposed to fit on him i'll just just to, just to do this for demonstration purposes that's how the weapons are supposed to be stored on him like that how stupid is that it's ridiculous right so you sort of flip up the tail fold down the dyno toes flip out the legs clip them into position fold out his uh, clown shoes and then you pretty much got his legs done now his upper part is a bit of a faff um, especially these uh, stowing these four legs in position you unclip the rib cage try to move his forelimbs out of the way and then sort of it's kind of difficult to do this then you've got to make room to build his forearms so pull the fists out and then fold together the forearms pivot out the fists fold together the forearms that's got hung up on somewhere there we go now you then got to split split the head open and then you've got to this is the tr the tricky part you've got to maneuver I'm making a right hash of this got to pull these shoulder blade things the other side of the crest so move the crest back bring the at least I think that's what you do now I've got it stuck um, right okay now this is the bit about this this lit figure that is really pants 
you've got these little tabs in here where the forearms tab into his torso into his sort of his spine and getting them to into position to actually clip in is a right pig well that one's gone and then that one's gone right so now we've got So then, you fold these bits of the crest over, and then you fold down his arms. And then you put his swords in. And he's pretty much done. Sorry you couldn't see much of that, because I wasn't doing it in camera. And there he is. When you look at him next to um, Scorn, he's, 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 even though in dino mode, Slug's dinosaur form is smaller than Scorn, when they're in robot mode, it's the other way around. Because Slug has got a lot more bulk to him, he actually is quite a bit chunkier and bigger than Scorn. I mean, he's got these humongous great galoshes for, for legs massive great chunky legs and he's got these huge great gorilla like forearms and he has got a waist swivel that actually works uh, ball jointed shoulders upper upper arm swivel the fist doesn't rotate, it just sort of folds in and out as part of the transformation. Um, the legs, ball joints at the thigh, thigh swivel, pivot, and then a bit of bit of a pivot on the toe. Again, medieval knight aesthetic. He's got the uh, oh yeah, heads on a on a ball joint. Which is because of all the uh, plating around, no, neck neck plating around, it's kind of doesn't restrict its movement a bit. But uh, there we have him. He's all right. Not as good as Scorn though. I mean, he's okay. Probably I would say better in robot mode than he is in uh, Dino mode. And. Uh, you know, he's all right. He's got two weapons instead of one. So there's not really much more I can say about him other than he's okay. You know, Scorn's the one you really want. If he's just going to get one, you know, deluxe Dinobot figure, I'd go for Scorn. But this guy's all right. You know, he's okay. And that's about as much as I've got to say about him, really. Not really much more than that. So, yeah. Um, I haven't got any more um, Age of Extinction figures yet. I haven't been able to get over to Toys R Us, which is my local ones in Coventry. And um, so I haven't seen whether Wave 2 has actually made it to our shores yet. Uh, I'm not really interested in any of the gimmick ones. Uh, as for the vehicles, I might be getting Evasion Mode Optimus, uh, maybe um, Voyager Hound, and maybe Deluxe um, Nitro Bumblebee. But, you know, we'll just have to see how it goes. Because at the moment, I'm just sort of holding fire. Waiting to see what comes out in the next wave before I uh, make my next you know, purchase. But uh, that's all I've got to say for now. Um, I have got some other old bots that I could review. Uh, there's a couple of blogs that I wanna I wanna do when I can get the courage. But I'm actually I think I'm getting better at this, even though I'm waiting for you guys to give me some feedback on that. So that's all there is to it. Cheers.